everyone and welcome back to the AMAC. It's Friday evening and I hope you all have been doing well out there and on this evening's show we are going to do a devotional reading from 2 Corinthians 4 17 and it begins our lot and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. 2 Corinthians 4.17 The question is often asked, Why is human life drenched so much blood drenched in so much blood and soaked with so many tears? The answer is found in the word achieving. For those momentary troubles are achieving for us something very precious. They are teaching us not only the way to victory, but better still the law of victory. There is a reward for every sorrow, and the sorrow itself produces the reward. It is the very truth expressed in this dear old hymn written by Sarah Adams in 1840. Nearer my God to thee, nearer to thee, and though it be a cross that raiseth me. Joy sometimes needs pain to give it birth. Fanny Crosby was a wonderful American hymn writer who lived from 1820 to 1915 and who wrote more than 2,000 hymns. Yet, she could never have written the beautiful words, I shall see him face to face, if not for the fact that she had never gazed upon green fields, evening sunsets, not even the twinkle in her mother's eye. It was the loss of her own vision that helped her to gain her remarkable spiritual discernment and insight. It is comforting to know that sorrow stays only for the night and then takes its leave in the morning. And a thunderstorm is very brief when compared to a long summer day. Remember, weeping may return for a night, but rejo rejoicing comes in the morning. Psalm 35 from Song in the Night. There is a peace that springs soon after sorrow of hope surrendered not of hope fulfilled, a peace that does not look upon tomorrow, but calmly on the storm that it has stilled, a peace that lives, not now enjoys excesses, nor in the happy life of love secure. But, in the morning, but in the unerring strength the heart possesses of conflicts won while learning to endure, a peace there is in sacrifice scheduled, a life subdued from will and passion free. It's not the peace that's that over Eden 
fruited, but that which triumphed in Gethsemane. That was a lovely devotional reading, and I do hope you all enjoyed that. And as always, everyone, until we all meet again, may God bless you and God keep you.